spread for day. What's the matter, Pam? I'm so frustrated because I'm not allowed to hand carry any liquid exceeding 100 milliliters inside the plane. How am I supposed to bring my liquid my wash? That's terrible. I can bring mine too. You know how important is it to take care of your oral health all the time? Don't worry. I have an idea. Why don't we make a side portion and make our own mango tablet? That's, That's brilliant. brilliant. But we need to make sure it's portable so we can bring it anywhere. And hopefully, let's use something organic and easily accessible. Yeah, what help should we use? I suggest high basil because it's easy to find and it has antibacterial properties and maybe... Oh, in an gooseberry, it also has antibacterial properties and abundant in Thailand. Ah, I agree. Let's, let's do it! it. Are you curious about the side project that we were talking about? Are you interested on how we can solve these problems? Then buckle up, let us walk you through the process. Our study is about making effervescent tablet mangoes from Thai basil and Indian gooseberry extracts. We perform the following procedure to produce the effervescent mangoes tablet. First, extraction from Thai basil and Indian gooseberry. Second, extracting phenolic compound from Thai basil and Indian gooseberry. Then, produce the effervescent granules through dye granulation using packaging machine. We have two hypotheses for the study. First, assuming that the phenolic compound contains of Thai basil and Indian gooseberry extracts are different. Independent variable, Thai basil extract and Indian gooseberry extract. Dependent variable, Variance based on the phenolic compound content and the control variable are controller for extraction volume, temperature, and the spectral star machine. Yeah, second hypothesis is the ratio of effervescent uh, particle composition to dissolution water and pH well in each formula. Independent variable. The proportion of effervescent uh, particle in each formula. Dependent variable. Variable of dissolution water and pH well. And control uh, variable. Extraction amount, uh, temper temperature, uh, humidity, and stop wash or pH meter. But what is effervescent and phenolic content? That's a good question. Well, effervescent tablet is a type of tablet that breaks up when you drop it in a liquid like water or juice. And phenolic content are naturally occurring compounds with antioxidant properties. To make the effervescent mawash tablet, we extracted the Indian gooseberry and Thai basil extract. Pick out the Indian gooseberry from the branches, rinse with clean tough water to remove dirt, and then shake off the water before drying in the oven at a temperature of 50 to 60 Celsius until it's completely dry. And then grind it to a small piece with a full sharpener. Weigh 100 grams of crushed Indian gooseberry to soak, to soak it in 1000 ml, and then soak for 24 hours while shaking periodically in a shaking machine. And then after 24 hours, filter it through a filter paper, then store the extracted solution in the bottle and refrigerate it for later uses. Completed three rounds of extraction, the extract is put into the rotary vacuum, evaporator to evaporate the ethanol from the extract until the solution is obtained. Freeze dye the solution in the vacuum freezer to evaporate water until the solid extract is obtained. Calculation Total amount of phenolic compound where C. Concentration of phenolic compound calculate from the standard. Co. Microgram per min. V. Volume used to prepare the sample. Min. H. Wedge of the sample. T. Lastly, the process of making a frozen mawash tablet where 5 grams each of phenolic gooseberry and Thai basil extract, where 15 grams of flex stone, where 0.5 grams of PEG for 1000, when the Thai basil extract, India gooseberry extract, flex stone extract, and PG4000 together using water and paste your guide. Gradually add 1 ml of ethanol 93% by using micro until the substance is suitable. See the substance using the strainer. 
back in the incubator to turn it into Brando. The resulting Brando is mixed with the effervescent tablet as follows. For the results of the extraction of Thai basil extract and Indian gooseberry extract, with 95% internal concentration, were freeze dried with our compressor obtained the following amount of extract. First, extract from Thai basil 24 grams and extract from Indian gooseberry 45 grams. Based on the performance of extract from Thai basil and Indian gooseberry, by the phenolic content meter, the phenolic content gallic acid equivalent is as follows. Thai basil extract with 6.35% phenolic content gallic acid equivalent mean the extract from the Thai basil leaf contains 6.35% phenolic compound compared to gallic acid. The gooseberry attack has 6.69% phenolic content gallic acid equivalent, which means in gooseberry attack it contains 6.69% of the phenolic compound compared to gallic acid. From making the average same tablet using the dry granulation formula, tablet pressing machine, and measure in the effervescence of effervescent tablets, the result were as follows. The effervescent tablet production was started by extracting the substance with 1000 ml of 95% internal, with 100 grams of raw material, 45 grams of Indian gooseberry, and 24 grams of bare silver obtained. Then, basil and Indian gooseberry attack were taste for the content of antioxidants, which are stimulant and pathogens by using the following calcium test method to determine the phenol detention present. When made into effervescent tablets, by dry granulation using two formulas. Formula 1 has better water solubility than Formula 2. As for the HP well, Formula 1 has a lower HP level than Formula 2. Therefore, both for Thai basil and gooseberry could be produced to be effervescent tablets for my wash. We can have our own effervescent and Mawash tablet from Thai basil and Indian gooseberry extract. Yes, now without boring and carrying Mawash tablet, let me throw in. Plus, it's organic and safe to use. That's the end of the presentation. Thank you for your listening. Yay! Yay!